What a way to get greeted by the game. This is how crackheads look at you when they, they ask for gas money. Stuttering, huh? You nervous or something at the sight of our furry friend? I'm not stuttering because of the fear. I'm stuttering because of the crack. Looks like someone drank a Red Bull today. After the extremely long wait and several Adderall bottles, today is finally the day. Gentlemen, welcome to Poppy Playtime, Chapter 3. And what a welcome it is. Tom finally popped his top off and consumed Jerry. This has been in the making for a long time, right? Even before we started playing it. This will certainly be interesting moving forward. Are we not going to talk about the menu? What happened to the relaxing factory and 30s music? Why did we get thrown into Silent Hill? Trust me, I was surprised too. Since this is a whole new game, I have no idea what to expect. So we're all going in with our head in the clouds. So what you're saying is that we're cooked, fried, and beer battered. Speculation is speculation. Only one real way to find out. Onward and upward, as they say. We're going downward, if anything. What's the time? And we got a cassette going? Not the kids screaming. What did the... We got a cartoon intro. There's a whole cartoon series for this. This is the Care Bears you get from watching Peacock. I believe I already saw this segment in the trailer, but I'll just let it play out for now. Is this what that happy intro was for? A horror house? Something tells me this isn't Peacock that we're watching this on. Uh, wind's really scary. It's wind. You're getting scared of a calm breeze. Seems like the leader of the group, I'm guessing. Who's knocking at this hour? And the door is unlocked. Uh-oh, it's the cat. They even have his mouth open here. He has everybody's mouth open. Catnip! They're happy to see Please, him, at least. Help us go to sleep, catnip. We need it, catnip. Please help us. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Why do you need him? What is this angle? Is that the whooping cough? What's going on? Oh, they took some funny gas. Why are they laughing? Stop laughing. It's not funny. That doesn't mean look at me. Well, Don, they stopped all right. They stopped the whole cartoon. Everyone knows Huggy Wuggy and Poppy Playtime, but are your children... Is that Jacksepticeye? No. No, it is not. What you've seen here is Playtime Co.'s own smiling critters. They could use a pair of teeth, in my opinion. ...to celebrate the release of the toys sharing its name. Yet both now face the fire sparked by the inclusion of one key member. This is Catnap. He's not and napping like with that face. His line, you just pull his little tail and... Actual booger sugar comes out of him. Are you kidding me? However, parents across the country report their children experiencing strange and often violent nightmares. Nightmares? Inside them, their little grinning Catnap doll. He has a black hole for a tongue. This must have been when the factory started mass producing their own line of command. All catnap toys from the Smiling Critters line. His image cleared from all promotional material. Interesting. But damage already done, will disappearing be that easy? The exact cause of these incidents... Why are they zooming in on his mouth? I doubt he knows what Listerine is. Shut up. I'm excited for this one. I haven't gone into a game blind in a while. I respect the business, but why are all of their mouths agape like seagulls and not just catnap? I think it's an interesting design choice, to say the least. Speaking of, I think we're looking through the eyes of the beast himself. Someone get him some Colgate. I can smell his breath through the screen. Why are we opening the game from his perspective anyway? Can't answer questions this time. But he's opening a hatch, it seems. Good luck trying to go down there, cat fat. Oh, what is that thing? Catnap isn't taking naps, that's for sure. More importantly, if I'm guessing correctly, yep, that was us he threw down the tunnel. What? Where did this cocaine gas cat throw us? Well, this is certainly a way to start a chapter. I'm freaking out for my life with these sounds. Something tells me that we might want to find an exit, and fast. The walls are closing in. Donald, we're in a garbage disposal right now. Well, get out of there. What do you think I'm doing, Sherlock? Twerking on the wall? No, that's a different Obama. Okay, we're out. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, are we good? I think so. I just get moving because I don't know if anything is chasing after us. Obama, what are you doing? That candy cat is after us. I'm trying to pull us up. Okay, there we go. Wait, where do I go now? Okay, 
just drop down for right now and look around and make sure nothing is after us. I don't think it is because the music would be most likely going rampant. All right. Okay. Let's do a quick summary here. We were sent a tape to get in the old factory, and after getting chased by Huggy Wuggy, we found Poppy in a case. We released her, but she was taken by Mommy Long Legs. After playing her games, we defeated her and took the train to escape. However, Poppy changes directions. The train loses control and crashes, and we end up at the play care where catnap is. It's like you just read off the ingredients of a shampoo product. And now we're just moving through the facility. How it typically goes at the start. And now I just broke my leg. Obamacare won't be able to fix that, nor will it be able to fix the nightmares I'll have looking at catnap's wide open mouth. What do we have going on here? Some platforming? I wonder how all of this was being powered because there's no way that one power cell at the start of the game gave life to the entire underworld. We already know that not everything is as it seems. Not only that, you got to think at just how deep this place goes. We thought chapter two had a large layout until we got to the train part. Elliot Ludwig's tax write-offs must have had the meeting good. Okay, looks like we made it to the top of whatever those pillars were. And it looks just as awful as I remember it. Was Leif Pierre hiding the SCP Foundation down here? I made a joke about Hollow Earth, but I'm actually starting to believe it. This is hundreds of feet below the surface. If anything, our character is aware of the fact that this entire chamber exists. At least, he has to know somewhat of the things that went on. Not only did he work here, but Mommy Long Legs had some visceral disdain towards him. And now we're just left to put the pieces together. It seems like we did some pretty significant damage to this area. It's like the Polar Express was written by Quentin Tarantino. They're really emphasizing the platforming aspect of this game so far, aren't they? I'm noticing that as well. They're starting to compose a really well-balanced horror game. Very excited to see where this ends up. Uh... Something tells me we might need a bigger litter box. And you're telling me we have to go that way? Towards Clifford, the big red dog? It's all possible that we could be playing a cat and mouse game soon. A bit appropriate for who our foe's gonna be. How do I pull this thing? Have the mechanics changed at all? Or has it been that long since we played the game? I think you got it at least. There you go. Would help if you hit the button. Are you serious, Obama? With how long your fingers are, you can't sink your sticks into the platform? Donald, it's our first time playing the game. If you think you're so much better, you give it a shot. Little did you guys know that I'm the world's best platformer. The very best. Watch and learn, you two. Ah! There we go. I got it for you guys. Donald, there is a, a special sort of embarrassment out there for suckers that can't even make fire out of sticks and have to resort to an old man's help. We are those suckers. You're going to criticize me for not being a gold Olympian for horror games, but you allow Joe to flash his fanny to the whole southern side of the United States. What is wrong with you liberals? The liberal party has nothing to do with your inability to be humble, Donald. It's like you go out of your way to brag about how you're so much better than everyone. World's best platformer, and then you die to fall damage. I don't mind playing Malcolm in the middle, but I'm also trying to figure out how to get out of this place. I'd appreciate it if you guys don't get too loud. You hear that, Obama? We're cleaning out the earwax in Joe's head. He might actually be a good president now that he can be partially sentient. You're 77, Donald. Oh, here the exit is. Quite the interesting room we have here. It's like a break room almost. I call sleeping on the coochie couch. Uh, looks like that's where we were dumped. So we're at the start of the game. And there's these green glowing bricks. Yep, just as I thought. We have batteries now. You exploring around before you pop the bricks in there? Yeah, I'm toying around with everything. Uh, getting my bearings straight before I get too deep into the game. And we have another ring tape to curse ourselves with. Uh, Joe, are you going to play Hansy Poozy or are you going to play the tape? Like I said, I'm just toying around for now. I don't think there would be anything that triggers by just simply laying the grab pack on it, but you never really know. Yeah, this actually does look like a break room, but I guess the natural damage after years of being abandoned kind of distorts it. Obama, you might be Sherlock Holmes with these discoveries. All right, Miss Harper, please explain the situation. Spare no detail. Wonder what the mask well, is about. Okay. Catnap had the red 
smoke in the room. The gas is real? There is this scream. Mm. Nightmares happen. I know. But this, I mean, dilated pupils and quiver and lit. Why are they taking care of children anyways? Chloroform solves that. She saw something too. Something horrible. She. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I don't mean to. A lot of emotions here. Ms. Harper will provide the very best care we can offer. Excuse me? You have my word. I don't know about but that one. That sounded sarcastic. Did Marie happen to describe what she saw? Yes. A monster, she said, said that it was colorless. colorless. Now that's interesting. I could colorless? Feel This lady sucks. Have some concern, you robot. I wanted to talk to her. See how she's doing. I just I really need to hear her voice right now. That would not be advised. They won't there even are, let her see the kid. There are many concerns we must address at this time. Yeah, they're hiding something. But vital, show normal, and we'll continue to monitor. She'll be okay. Whoa, that was the tipping point for her. Talk about being unempathetic. That lady has to work on her bedside manners before talking to trauma patients. Well, if it's not glaringly obvious, I'm sure there were several OHSA laws that were broken during the company's active time. A health inspector visit would be like an FBI raid here. The city of a factory might as well be in place for a graveyard at this point. Some useful information you guys need to know is that you have to stand right next to the socket when you plug in a battery. The hands don't extend out to it. Thanks for the info. I'm sure that mechanic will come in handy if we have to rush through some battery placement or something like that. Looks like we got another character speaker here. They're just printing these things out. I'm Bubba Bubbuffin. Stupid name. Hey, I remember you. You remember what? He remembers us. Elephant always remembers. Might just be a prepared panel. Want to know what I remember about you? Is it my dashing good looks and charm? <laughs> the answer was no, Don. Seems like it just loops. Either way, that's a bit concerning how he says he remembers us. And he remembers us through agonizing screams. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Why is a phone ringing? I couldn't tell you. But the bigger question is, who's ringing it? You guys aren't more concerned. We just had death-curdling screams come from a blue elephant like we're in an insane asylum, and then we just get a phone call right after. Don't you worry, Don. I'm bullying the cardboard animal right now. At any moment, he'll apologize for getting your panties in a bunch. Remind me to throw the phone at you when we get there. Hey, hey. A kid? Who are you? We must suck if a literal child needs to help us. Oh, that's what he was talking about. Well, seems like a helpful kid. I guess he'll be our guide for this chapter. I'm sorry, how is a child alive down here? And how is he still a child? This place hasn't been open for 10 years. Not gonna question specifics, but if you look here, you can't grab the battery with the grab pack. We're really out here using anchor arms to fight demons. We are finished. Of course you ask me. You. you mean cat crack? I know you're probably mad at Poppy for not letting you escape. But she needs you. We need you. So they're with Poppy. Our mission. Together, we can save a lot of people. This sounds like a we cult. Definitely a cult. Doesn't seem too happy naming them. What happened? Here is his church, his hunting ground, whatever he wants it to be. You're not giving us confidence here, you miscreant. We'll keep in touch. As I thought. And by the way, my name is Ollie. Nice to meet you. No, Ollie, not nice to meet you. I wish I never met you. I wish I never got thrown onto a train with an overgrown cat in the hat. I wish I never even came here. Donald's hitting octaves I didn't think were humanly possible. And you're just as cool as a cucumber. 
How often do you get thrown into horrifying situations where you question your sanity? I wake up to one every day, Barack. You get used to it. What are you talking about? Your wife, your kids, or your presidency? Who said anything about my presidency? It might actually be a problem that we normalize hating our families. That's poking stuff I haven't felt in years. Oh, ew, Joe. Too much information on that little detail adventure. Pink spider? Don't come at me with that, Obama. You can't sit here and defend a man that was getting his willy whirlwinded by a metal gate. Have some class. Well, in other news, we're right at the boundary of Elliot's Express. So there's that. Is that the new leaving Neverland? Obama, don't insult Michael like that. Hey, I'm chicken chicken. Wanna go outside and hang out? Wonder how this one's gonna it's end. Looking pretty bad outside. I've never been outside before. Kicking chicken confirmed to be a Valorant player. Will you come with me? I'm scared. Sure, kicking chicken. What's the worst that could happen? Here, follow me. I'll step out first. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Sounds about right for a Valorant player. Time to get on Elliot Ludwig's expressway of fun. Well, my first impression here is that there's not really any more innocence left in this factory. It's devolved from a toy company to some actual menacing abominations of humanity going on in this underworld. For once, I agree. And of course, we get another horror tape here. Hello. My name is Elliot Ludwig. They keep blurring out his face. Odd time to ask this question. But why exactly did we get on this trolley thing without thinking about the consequences? For lack of better choice. And to hear this guy yap. And I could perhaps see some little truth in each. But I think each was also missing something. Something. Wait, what's that red glow ahead? Was that a globe? What are we looking at? Elliot, I don't care about your smile. I care about the Thunderdome that we're on a collision course with. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but. Uh, I'm more concerned about this red glow that's coming from this hole. A smile is understanding. And there is nothing more gratifying to my soul than being the reason for a child's smile. All this doesn't really mean anything with this red smog that we're getting into. Or it is only through hopes and dreams that we may create a better world. Really trying to make the hollow earth theory into a reality. Don't look now, but this dictator's speech is leading us straight into the fire and the flames here. All while he is talking about smiles. Well, if this is the end, it was a good run while it lasted. And they deserve a safe home. That is why. Wait, what's happening on this side of the rainbow? They have a whole village down here. I feel like the Grinch just watching on his mountain. And there's the introduction. An orphanage? Why does an orphanage need to be located in Sandy's tree dome? A playhouse, a place to belong. Our very own ecosystem beneath the surface. Yeah, this guy Elliot drinks the blood of a sacrifice or something. I'm not stepping towards him unless it's with a big iron and a sawed off. This reminds me of the People's Temple. There are just some very off-putting vibes going on here. You can definitely tell the age of this thing. Again, makes me wonder who Ollie even is. Actually, what he is, because I doubt he would be a child. You have a good point, Joe. Regardless, this place seems oddly lively for being abandoned after so long. Look at this place. Speaking of, guess who you just willed into existence, Obama? Of course you blame me. Hello, Ollie. Cool place, right? This is your definition of cool? Now look at it. Anyways, do you see that statue in the middle of the room? Take the stairs that go under it. There's a really cool room in there that powers literally all of Playcare. I can give you a key down there. We get to meet Ollie? Yeah, something tells me we're not going to live to tell that tale. Was that a cat joke? What a way to start the game. They definitely outdid themselves so far. Right. I'm certainly impressed, too. I might be playing more as well, considering I'm going in blind. Is there anything you want to add briefly before I call it a video, Don? You know the texture of a cat's tongue, right? Cut the video, cut the video. Cool place, right? 
You said this last time we discovered half of Quahog to be in ruins down here. Well, here we go. Okay, we're at the right place. Uh, I was just double checking that I'm following our friend Ollie here. Is this the key? This weird glowing circle? Yeah, if I can grab it. There we go. Aren't we trusting this man child a bit too easily? Wait, can't we just check our inventory? Yeah, we can. Gas production zone key. If it's not oxygen, I wonder what sort of gas they're producing down here. Yeah, because they're going to be producing helium or something in a daycare cryo chamber. You forget the catnap makes that red gas. He also apparently put kids to sleep with that gas, and that's how the orphanage worked. You should find a door just to the left of the cable car you took down here. Are we even certain that we can trust this guy? Remember what Poppy did the first time? Okay, so we're in the middle near the statues, and we're trying to go find this production zone, right? I don't even mean to harp on the whole setup here, but why is it just so convenient that we have Batman's lair down here? It just keeps going and going. What was the point of this? Interesting that a counselor's office almost resembles a government building. They really did have an entire hidden society down here. Wait, why are you going back into the basement area? I thought we had to do something with another door near the cable car. I just want to check around more thoroughly before we go to different parts of the game. Sometimes we typically can't return to areas like this. I don't know why, but it's been a dry day so far. I haven't hurled a salt shaker at Obama's head yet, so maybe I need to get creative with my insults again. Donald, in a life or death scenario where we're practically caught in the land of the lost, you would be focusing at the wart on my face. Kind of hard not to focus on it. It's practically the size of one of Saturn's moons. I'll be honest, sometimes we'll be having a conversation and my eyes will just lock on there. It practically has its own gravitational pull. Are you serious? It's not even the size of my fingertip. You are the only ones who have thought it was necessary to point that out. I think everyone else was just trying not to hurt your feelings. Either that or they don't want to end up in the water. Well, I gotta take a tinkle, so I'll be right back. One of you can take over, but please don't start playing without me. Don't fall in, I'm not getting up to rescue you. Well, uh, this is uh, certainly something. I never realized how much Joe is the glue to this whole thing. What are we even supposed to do? Well, remember it is his channel. The entire idea was set by him, even though he was in the middle of the Oval Office when he called me. At least he called you. For me, he sent a telegram to the receptionist's office. I'm surprised there wasn't a carrier pigeon with it or something. Joe's an interesting guy, you know. He's a mix of modern visions with past tendencies. A good guy, just a little bit confused. Well, agree to disagree. Ugh, Donald. I know we were both taught to demonize the other side, but not everything is as portrayed. Policies may be different, but we're all trying to win the same race here. I don't need to explain myself. You know as much as I do that the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Donald, just let it off. You act like that road, no matter to hell or heaven, isn't as close as it is. I hate to say it, but you know, in your heart, that he's not gonna be here forever. I know, Barack, I know. Sorry about that. Took a bit longer than I expected, but I'm glad you guys didn't do anything without me. Who's gonna take over? I guess I will. The world's best platformer probably has a couple things on his mind. Probably should have just stayed in the pit earlier. Is this where we have to go? It's felt like it's been forever since we heard from Ollie. I know Don already said it, but this place is absolutely massive. How did they even build this whole thing? And now we have a loading screen, so it looks like we're going somewhere different. Thanks, Captain Obvious. I really needed the clarification there. This reminds me of the layout of an industrial mill. A very all-rusted metal interior. That just has mascot cutouts. And some old music to boot. Interesting. And it's offline. Tyreek Hill? Right 
Seems like our first puzzle. Get to who? Uh, all right, we're treading through some murky waters today. Uh, I'm a tad bit confused on what we have to do, but I think it's redirecting some power lines using the batteries. The way the game has evolved so quickly hints at the fact that we have a lot of toying around to do. More trial and error than the first two games combined, even. What makes you say that? The little Tinkerbell that uses a Nokia to communicate with us? The overall fact of how we started versus where we are now. We just had a basic toy factory, and now we're in the depths of Atlantis. I know the electricity is surprising, but what about all the machines themselves, too? It's a wonder that after 10 years, this entire thing works without fail. And we have another cardboard cutout. Oh, great. What sort of horrors of humankind will it spill out? All right, well, that lever doesn't work, and I, I regret hitting that button. I didn't need to hear catnap smoking on palm trees. He had to resort to making boyfriend ASMR after the factory went downhill. What is this thing? Can't seem to get up there. Can we grab this and move it out of the way? Wait, you just got something, Barack. Swap hands? Oh, we have a new hand now, a purple variant, and it has some lights on the back. This hand looks way more technically advanced than the others. The green hand stores electricity. Does this hand collect data signals so I can access the blockchain? Donald, I have no clue, but I don't think we have the slightest chance at moving this thing. Yeah, not even the other hand. Well, there's another video player, so be on the lookout for a green tape. Might have some useful information on it. What the? Oh, that's what this does. Interesting, it acts like a bounce pad. Good thing you were operating it then. I would have broken a rib or two, and Donald wouldn't make it past liftoff. Yeah, my fault that a 15-year-old toy wouldn't support the full capacity of a grown man. Really sticking it in deep, aren't you, Joe? Oops, I missed the shot. Let's try that again. There you go. And there's more ahead, too. Like I said, really surprising element that they've brought to the table. The platforming aspect, that is. Are we just not going to talk about the bloody sludge in front of us? Did a Grimer just give birth or something? Don't know, don't care, but, but I'm certain that we most likely don't want to dive headfirst into that. Our skin might just peel away like an orange peel. Wait, what are you doing now? Are you going to try to hang off of it? No harm in trying. Well then. Sounds like you could use a sprinkle of help from the world's best platformer. What happened to the security guard bit? Funny you said that, I got bit. What will our friendly neighborhood Donald be able to do here? Scream in agony and throw feces onto the wall like last time? Watch and learn, gentlemen. I'm about to blow your mind so hard that Soviet soldiers would be jealous. Well, would you look at that? Donald did figure something out. Even I didn't know what to do there. Now, the question is, how exactly am I going to make it over to the other side? I don't see anything hanging under the wall that I can grab onto. We might have to think outside the box on this one. That thinking almost got you into another bloodbath right there. Maybe, but now I know what to do. Well, that didn't work, and now I just look stupid. Wait a minute, um, hold on. Okay, we might be getting somewhere now. Well, while Donald handles that, I wanted to get your thought on this, Joe. Thought on what? I remember at the end of chapter two that Poppy was referring to terrible things being done here. Uh, I think it's pretty creepy how Mermaid Man's lair is just sitting down here almost untouched. You almost have to think that those terrible things have something to do with the orphanage. Only naturally. When you face the reality of the situation, there's monstrous toys wandering around, and that begs the question of how they came alive. And just like that, I pull the rabbit out of the Freddy head once more. And now I have to memorize Schubert's symphony. Well, isn't this just great? Well, this has to go way deeper than we think. I mean, we haven't even run into any of the mascots from the beginning of the game. Candy Cat, Boogie Bot, Brawn, Di there's really an entire new layer of the game that has yet to be unearthed, but I also have to think just how much are we gonna encounter this chapter. Don't forget the entire brand of smiling critters, although Ollie said that they were all gone. Also kind of weird when you think about how dawningly menacing catnap is. A lot to digest, really. It's reminding me of the experience I had learning FNAF, 
and how everything evolved from Purple Guy to William Afton. That's something I'm starting to unpack here as well because I've pretty much gone into every game knowing exactly what to expect. This is a refreshing experience for me to be on the edge of my seat just like you guys are. I can't fit my hand right here. The hole is wide open. O.J. Simpson can fit gloves inside himself, but I can't fit this glove in here. This might take a while, won't it? I'm noticing some old eerie music here as well, which is interesting because from what I gathered, the toy company was around for quite some time, right? With uh, the difference in the Poppy Playtime commercial and the Mommy Long Legs commercial, that's what I have to assume. But I also don't think this game takes place in modern day. This still might be early 2000s. What makes you say that? Let's break it down analytically. If we are exploring the factory 10 years after it was abandoned, then that means the technology here is at least 10 years old. And when you see VCR tapes and old company cell phones, it's certainly not modern day. So how come you think it's at least close to the modern era? The Mommy Long Legs commercial echoed an 80s style, and the Catnap News Report was pretty similar to early 90s era. So that's why I'm basing the thought that it's the early 2000s, because that was at least 10 years ago. And yet, somehow, they expect me to believe that Oliver Twist is just down here kicking rocks and avoiding killer robots. Uh, what is he surviving on, pillow stuffing? Now that I'm thinking about it, there's no way Ollie is a child, at least not a human one. Even though this was an orphanage, the only real possibility here is that once everyone disappeared, he hid out here when he was three. I think the more important question is what kind of orphanage would accept a three-year-old? Okay, I may have just said something really stupid. You think? At least you're growing self-aware. Finally, that took way too long. That was an entire opera that I saw there. Definitely tested some patience. I thought you would have karate kicked something by now. Yeah, this is going to be a very long experience, isn't it? I mean, it's already been an hour deep into the recording and half of it was Don trying to figure out how a street sign works. Obama, you couldn't steer a camel out of Dubai, let alone operate that thing. I don't need criticism from the blind and the disabled. Wait, who's who? I'll leave that for you to decide. All right, you should just be able to turn this thing on and let her rip, from what I understand. And just like that, the world's best platformer has done it again. Go ahead, you guys can bow now. No power. Is this the part where I boo or I throw tomatoes at you for being such a dolt? What did I even do? It's probably a scripted event, if I'm guessing. I doubt that there was some timer going on the whole time. Looks like we have an incoming hotline as well. Oh boy, what now? Oh no! Someone killed the power! Someone! I sent you another key. It's under the statue. Use it to get into Home Sweet Home. Home Sweet and Home? Once you're inside, find the building's backup generator. Good luck! What a nice young man. I hope he doesn't turn out to be some governing force that we'll have to deal with later. And now we have Joe out here calling out cryptic warnings that I can't tell are jokes or he's actually seen the game all the way through. Trust me, if I played through the game, I would have told you already. That is fair. Joe's not the type to hold in a secret, especially after something like that. Um, he has the memory of Bubba Bubba Fint when it comes to that area. And the bone structure of kicking chicken. And right down the hatch it goes. Why does Ollie just have access to the Timken Steel warehouse? It's like he's mass producing these out of Nike sweatshops. If he's been stuck here for 10 years or so, he most likely has access to a lot of the things we need to get to. Probably couldn't get to them himself because of catnap wandering around. I guess we should probably wander our way to home sweet home. Ollie said there's a, a backup generator in there, right? I think so. All right, you stupid batteries, prepare to get turned on by the dawn. Gross. Gross. And we're at the door of the Adams family, I see. Oh, this is, what a creepy looking place. Reminds me of Poppy's area. But for it being somewhat modern, I don't understand their approach of the Victorian era. And we get hit with the Skate 3 loading screen. Okay, there we go. Eerie looking atmosphere. Oh, why are you just rushing through it, Donald? Um, what the, what is this? Hmm, red smoke. 
Well, it doesn't seem to be affecting you right now, but I'm starting to think that we're inching closer to catnap. And now we're walking down the shining stairs. Are we just taking a slice out of every genre for this chapter? Wow. Yeah, someone make the lobster bisque already. We are cooked. That is a very long hallway. It's a good thing I go for a daily jog in the morning. Looks like I'll get some more steps in. On the contrary. Another step for me and Don, and we have one foot in the grave. Stop including me in your old people jokes. A news broadcast? Excuse me? Of course, the founder of Playtime! Hold on, he said late. So Elliot had passed already when this happened. At this time, an identity for the child awaits official confirmation. Found in an upstairs bedroom in a large duffel bag. That smells of foul play. Disgusting. As well as key bones from the skeletal structure were reported missing from the body. Makes me sick. Known at this time whether this extraction was in fact the cause of death. And now it's just static. Really reminds me of PT, the way they have almost a looping hallway set up here with a radio playing. Did you guys notice that a portrait of a child was there too? Great, we got more. This will be interesting. It's sickening. Elliot Ludwig was a great man. And those who knew him understood that he was not capable of violence. Doubt it. Alone what others now claim. He had a deep love in his heart for children like this one, making the actions of whoever planted this body all the more sick. Huh, really defensive here. His good name, both in the public eye and in the eyes of the law. Stay tuned. Oh, well, what? Why did the radio get like that? I think it, it's all obvious that there's more to Elliot than they're letting on. Nobody just runs an orphanage underground. That's giving out some heavy secret society impressions. There's a phone. I just heard about horrible crimes against humanity and now we have to find a phone. What is this game doing to my mind right now? Don't be getting too far ahead, Don. We're probably close to catnap. It better be someone ordering Papa John's. That wasn't Shaquille O'Neal. Whoa! I saw that. I saw you catnap, and I'm not afraid of a feline like you. Do you hear me? Wait, you guys saw something? Oh, great. More disturbing radio to listen to. Interesting. What? What the? Playtime Co. It seems. And then back to normal broadcast. And its name within its brand, regardless, but is sure to be a long legal battle will follow. Hey, if we saw Catnap in here and all he told us to run, why are we standing still? Because the person on the radio told me to. That red smoke must have done something with our head. Because why is this hallway so vast? And why are we hearing semi-modern broadcasts on old radios? That's what I'm asking. But I'm also noticing that the hallway has scratch marks now. Wait, are those footsteps? Joe, I don't like this place. What happened to not fearing Catnap? I don't fear him. It's whatever this place is that makes it even worse. Why are we in The Shining? I really can't tell you, Don. Well, that certainly helps a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> knocking? Who's knocking? I'm not really sure, but something tells me that we shouldn't stick around to find out. I, I had a feeling Elliot wasn't on a clean slate, but I think it's worse than what we assumed. I'm getting really sick and tired of this radio station. Can we change it to the Pistons game or something? I want to be comforted by someone else's misery. Um, Donald, I don't know if you noticed this or not, but I think we're in a looping hallway. This really is The Shining. What is this place? I didn't even want to be here. Why did we have to get sucked down 20,000 leagues under the sea? Well, there's your way out, at least. Get up. Excuse me? If I'm not mistaken, I think the radio just spoke to us, Donald. Exhibit A is right there. Elliot Ludwig and Laith Pierre must be some really big fans of the Wednesday show. Well, that just came out. This was built before that. Why are you talking about a show at a time like this? I'm trying to survive a corn maze with Top Cat on my tail, not listen to Good Mythical Morning. Uh, you hear that, Donald? Yeah, it's like some gas mask sound. And now there's babies crying. Oh, what am I getting into now? 
Oh, wow, that's disturbing. Something tells me whatever this is, there's no going back after this. I don't think there ever was, Joe. Happy and fun way was it done, whatever that means. Well, if you couldn't tell, there was a TV and a VCR, so we most likely have another tape to watch. Well, here's the tape. I don't even want to watch this since I walked. There is no safety. Yeah, we are going to perish in here. Well, let's stop dragging it out then. Here we go. I already hate it. Greetings, employees, and welcome to your first day here in Playtime. A training tape. That in the days to come, you'll find your new family here every bit as loving and supportive as your own. Now that's propaganda. Feel free to wander the halls, sit in the mess for lunch, or watch our children play and learn to their little hearts' content. Your children? Join the innovationists where the bounds of science are continuously pushed. Or join the counselors of Playcare, whose diligence and care for our children will help shape a brighter future. Just you see. Why'd that sound threatening? Now, every one of you has your part in that future, so should you come back tomorrow feeling unhappy for where you are or what you've done? What we've done? Worry not, for your supervisor is here and happy to listen. And should you come back... Um, why is Huggy fading away? Why did the music stop too? Conscience finally getting the better of you. Excuse me, why is Huggy Wuggy analog horror? What the... Are you guys listening to what he's saying? All that awaits you are incomprehensible horrors. Each hungry for your return, each eager that they might find you. Oh, we are super guilty. They'd smile at you from a shadow. Their smiling mouths full of teeth and meat and plastic. Huggy is terrifying. Watching and waiting patiently for their turn at a warm welcome. This has to be a bad dream or something. Perhaps they won't allow you such time to figure your place in the world you'd left. A world that's theirs now. Well, that is sinister. Welcome. Oh, what's happening? He's leaving what the, the TV. What the? Ah! I, uh, what just happened? I'm not sure if that was a hallucination or not, but I doubt we're really dead. Whatever it was, I can tell you that we were not an innocent man working at the factory. I think we're way beyond that now. The question is how much blood is on our hands. Maybe we do deserve to be down here. Wait, did we just get vored by Huggy? Someone's asking the right questions and someone's not. Gotta improve your question skills, Obama. Well, it looks like Huggy only damaged us mentally. We're alive? How are we alive? Questions are for later. Moving is for now. There's obviously something deeper going on with this, and I suspect it has something to do with that red smoke we walked through earlier. Where are we even at? It's just a bunch of doors and cardboard cutouts, all for an orphanage of oppression. It looks to me that we're stuck in a nursery. The madness never ends. I'm not hitting that right now. I don't want the static to bang on my eardrums. Which is odd. How did we get here? If the Huggy Wuggy VHS tape was a hallucination, did we just stumble down here? That's my best guess. I also would like to think that the Elliot Ludwig things we heard about were radio broadcasts in the past, that we hallucinated. Again, sort of like PT. How do I get this door open? My hand can't fit through the bars. What was that? What was what? You're not hearing those sounds? It's like we're waking up the dead. Jill's actually been awake for a few hours now, probably answering my invoices if I know her. Okay, that's a bit of a crazy comment, Joe. Who else did you want me to say? We're both thinking it, Obama. Don't say it, especially after earlier. What happened to this thing? Did Mommy Longlegs divorce him and lose custody or something? No clue. But I don't think the cardboard is going to tell us. Wait, wait, what's going on down here? A car? Why is there a speed racer model in the basement? I don't know, but you're dying, Don. Well, I guess we're not supposed to go that way. And I can't go this way either. Seems like two plus two isn't equaling four right now. Maybe you have to do something with the car. I doubt the developers would put that much detail into something that different just for it to be a weird decoration. Look around to see if you spot anything. As long as Catnap isn't playing hide and seek, we'll be A-OK. -okay. Either that or we're gonna need a big syringe. 
Wait, what's that thing? Gas mask? Is this to protect us from the smoke? I think it's the gas mask that was from the teasers. <laughs> this might play a key part in avoiding more hallucinations. So I grabbed onto this car and I'm gonna ram these boxes into the world of the Ender Dragon. Whoa. Wow, okay then. I was just joking, very much joking. I didn't mean it literally. Catnap obviously knows we're wandering the facility. I just wonder how much he's gonna let us get away with these shenanigans. Maybe he's playing with his food like a cat would. See, this is why I'm a big fan of the other breed of cat. I think we're going the right way. I will say not knowing what to do is frustrating, especially since this entire game is pretty open. Open in what way? I think it's just as closed as the other chapters, although this one's atmosphere is drastically different. This doesn't even feel like we're in a factory anymore. We're right at home with the Great Depression. He's anorexic too? There's no way we're getting folded by a cat that's built like a Victorian couch. Did you not see the problem that he's wandering these halls, Donald? We might have another chase scene at this rate. The way the game's unfolded, almost certainly. I don't know if it'll be anytime soon, though, because we have a lot of batteries to turn on in play care. I think six in total. I think that's something I have to remind myself. We're in here to uh, activate the battery. I just wonder what sort of trouble awaits in front of us. I suppose it's the creeping anxiety that we all get. My creeping anxiety is two things, court hearings and how exactly we get out of this place. And right now, I'm knee deep in both. How are you knee deep in a court case? You're not Elliot Ludwig. Because lousy liberals want to be knee deep in me? What does this lead to? A closet or something? This place is all thrown around. What the? Ah, uh, femboy huggy wuggy, what are you doing here? Kissy Missy seems to be the only thing here besides Ollie that hasn't tried to kill us. With that being said, I wouldn't go out of my way to try to antagonize her. Seems she's in here for a reason. Well, you have fun in there, Kissy. Sorry about your boyfriend, or brother, or both, I don't judge. Friendly reminder that we're in an orphanage, Don. Machines or not, I think we have some haunting of the souls that we're dealing with. I'm waiting for the five nights at Freddy's ripoff comments. We have descending walls now? Why does this orphanage need government technology? And then they have a box TV set up here. I can't stand this place. A James Bond lair in place for a boarding house is certainly something. I'd ask where the sharks are, but I think Catnap ate them. Not with that build. In his recent checkup. Stable so patient here, I guess. Regular. We've pulled him from the home sweet home just before lights out to perform. What are you doing with my friend? I... Wait, what? What are you doing out of bed? How did you get in here? Is Kevin sick? Why did you take him away? I... Oh, they were doing something foul, foul. Because you did something. To make him better. But he can only get better if we take him to where we can provide proper care and give him proper rest. So he's just lying. Do you really think he will be okay? I should think so. We're good at what we do, son. We paid attention in school, learned, and got our proper rest when we needed it. Practically like gaslighting. Joseph. And I promise you, your friend will be all right. When you see him again, he'll have never been better. That ending, uh, uh, I don't know how to feel about these scientists or what they've been up to. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Joseph isn't seeing his friend unless he's hugging a wuggy. Scientists and children don't mix. I know you guys saw that one Full Metal Alchemist episode. What Full Metal Alchemist episode? Oh, boy. Joe, just let old Don tell you here. It's best to stay ignorant on this one. Curiosity does more to the cat than you think, and you don't have those nine lives anymore. Oh, there's the other battery. Is that you, Catnap? Haven't they taught you to beware of the dog? You forget I'm a pit bull in human form. With the face of a bulldog to match. I'm pretty sure if you walked into Atlanta, a Michael Vick would throw a chain around your neck. I guess this is what I get for being the best candidate this country has ever seen before. It's okay, you guys will ruin the U.S. one way or another. Only you could find a way to talk about more political yammering when we're being hunted like some chipmunks. Well, if you haven't heard the roosters crow, that means I'm doing something right. Now, every door opens when Donald Trump walks through. There's a lot of door there, so we're lucky to make it through in the first place. Didn't really expect you to call him that, Joe. Oh, we got another car we have to set off? I wonder who put all these cars here after this place was abandoned. They were clearly in approval for the vandalism. 
I swear, if you make another peaceful protest joke. I don't think it was ever a joke, Obama. Looks like we got another cardboard cutout. Hi there. I'm Piggy Piggy. Let's eat. Roast beef? Delicious. Eating meat as a farm Grilled animal? Chicken? Down the hatch. They don't care. Seared elephant? Yum! Seared elephant? Played unicorn? Mmm! Wait a minute. Still hungry. All that and you're hey. still hungry? What do you say you and I be friends? Um. Wait. Did Picky Piggy really eat the smiling critters? I was wondering why you were just sitting in silence. Pondering on dead mascots is certainly a heavy thought. All we know is that catnap is the last one, so something had to happen to the rest. Wait a minute. The person that told us that was Ollie, right? Yeah, it was through the phone that we found before we saw the crash site. Is that the bear? What is the bear doing here? It's still, and it looks like it's glowing too. I, I think it's probably just a statue. Plus, I don't think they would introduce a character without any form of build-up or cinematic. Just a 3D still would be a bit out of character. With all these beds here, you're telling me that the bear was just standing here watching over these children? No wonder they were having nightmares. If it's a statue, too, it could most likely be a place where that smoke comes from. Looking around and seeing the power strips for the hand, I also have to assume that it's a part of a puzzle that we have to figure out. This shelter really had wiring circuits out in front of three-year-olds, and we're probably doing crazy experiments for all we know. Call me Joe Swanson the way I can't stand this place anymore. I thought you were going to say me for a second. No, you're a way different Joe. One's a paraplegic and the other's a... One son came back from war and the other... You know what? I'll just bite my tongue on this one. This is not a statue. Do you see the way this thing is moving back and forth? Why does it have a heat sensor on it to detect my movement? Oh, my thought from earlier. So, Ollie was the one to tell us that Catnap was the only one left. But he also sounded super hesitant on how many smiling critters there were. Yeah, Ollie didn't seem like he knew the exact amount, which is odd because he knows his way around the facility well enough to guide us. So what's to say that Ollie is even a child at all if he doesn't know anything about the smiling critters? See, the Donald Trump intuition called that out like the false narrative it was. Oliver Twist could have been a wolf in sheep's clothing, and we would have been none the wiser. We still are none the wiser right now. Ollie is the only one that is helping us for the time being. And we're pretty much in the same hunting ground of a prehistoric animal. Stop patting his pockets like the senators you allow slack, Joe. For all we know, he's secretly working with Catnap to try to lure us into a false sense of security. We freed Poppy and she threw us to the dogs. The only thing we can trust down here is ourselves. Even then, I would have tripped you back near the Huggy Chase. He would have had Picky Piggy a bit earlier than he expected. What am I even doing right now? All this talk about the animal logos from football teams has me lost on my main mission. Finding batteries to power home sweet home uh, and avoiding Catnap at all possible costs we haven't really ran into him yet, but I don't think we're strong enough regardless to fight him. Not this again. Joe, do you not remember our entire discussion where we fought Springtrap? Do you not remember that we could easily take him? Why wouldn't we be able to take a kitten? That kitten has as much juice as a prime bottle. With the legs of some telephone poles to match. Oh, please. He has the rib cage of an already eaten rotisserie chicken. If anything, we can just grab its tail and rip it off like he's a Saiyan. You better be wearing a gas mask then, because he'll just cause you to be counting sheep. I'll have enough wool for a bedtime story and some new fur. And he would still get packed up like a battery. You two take the legs and I'll face him head on. You really need to stop looping us into your hijinks. You really need to start using a different denture cleaner before your breath gets worse than any red smoke I'll ever inhale. Talking about inhaling red smoke while also being around your Republican friends is a bitter irony that, that I've sadly gotten used to, Donald. You think the developers are trying to merge both sides by making a blue elephant? Like building the bridge between liberal and conservative. Reminds me of the one photo where Crips and Bloods have their bandanas tied. That level of representation is kind of crazy. Or you could have people coming for your throats like you tried to sell them an NFT or something. Doesn't apply here. NFTs are rightfully dead and they jump ship to merchandising. We could actually get a Huggy Wuggy plushie if we wanted to, but I don't think any of us want it strangling us. Wait, wait, wait. You're telling me they made smart corporate moves and actually made these plushies into a real thing. Where do I buy one? Donald the consumer wasn't exactly what I expected for this recording. You are actually pulling out your phone and buying one. Well then, someone contact the coroner. 
First off, I am not buying one. My assistant is. Second, it better be for your death certificate because that's staying on your side of the couch. No, it's not. You're not bringing home a fluffy weapon of destruction for it to snap our necks while we're recording. Do you even remember the Cheerio incident? Yes, I remember the Cheerio incident. Why do you think I want this thing? What's the Cheerio incident? Nothing. Nothing, Nothing at all. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh boy, how about this uh, poppy playtime? I sleep with one eye open, gentlemen. Remember that. Is that why you can't get proper rest? Are we ready for another panel here? Two hugs a day is better in every way. Well, it is huggy wuggy, so it's not surprising he would say that. Hugging forever. Hugs are nonstop. Can you not be creepy for the flip side of five seconds? Who even says that? Keeps the monsters away. And you're telling me that you want a huggy wuggy plushie. His arms are as long as a ladder, and he's going to treat us like Homer Simpson. Well, it's better than this plushie. Just look at this stupid cat hanging from the wall, ready to poison the youth. If this company lasted for five more years, it would probably be singing Nickelback songs in a high-pitched voice. The brain rot of 2005. Look at how far we've come. Yeah, about two more steps into Home Sweet Home because these puzzles take forever. Well, there's a fire right ahead of us. Always an option for an early exit. Not so early for some of us. Okay, I think that's the last of it. We have power running through the line and we should be able to get through the door now. Yeah, looks like we're good to go. Well, that's good because I could definitely tell it what, and there's more. Ah! Well, it's about time that we got done with that. Only took another half hour. Get me out of this place already. I'm miserable here. This is the worst feeling I've had all game, and it's not even close. I will say it feels like we've been playing this a lot longer than the second chapter. And it doesn't even feel like we're a fraction of the way done. I'm not surprised. As soon as I saw the size of Playcare and how many batteries that we have to get a hold of, it's something I sort of expected. I don't care because I'm getting out of this place. And if there's any more puzzles that I have to sit through, by, I'm stuffing the keyboard up one of your guys' ass. Ah! Look at that, finally home free. What, what? the? Let me go, Noodle Arms. Why is she attacking us? I'll skin you alive, freak. No, no. let go. Yeah, get your friend off me. I didn't do anything Wait, wrong. Poppy, why is she here? here to help. help, you tried to kill us. This place makes her tense. Interesting. I'm glad that Ollie could help you get this far. Very interesting. He's the reason we found you at all. So Ollie is in work with these guys and we have like a civil war going on here or something? I mean, she's dressed for the occasions. Like the train crash hurt us both. How exactly did it hurt you? You've been through so much. Your head is stupid, by the way. I just hit it. You deserve an explanation. Come on. So there's more going on than what meets the eye. I'm following you out of sheer demand from the game. Be okay. We'll be okay. Just remember that as far as I'm concerned, we're still enemies, Poppy. If anything, they weren't like Mommy and Huggy, who actively tried to treat our guts like it was a slinky. You're telling me this thing had a button that only it could press? No wonder this company went underground. Of course, you would be the one to look up its legs, Donald. Well, well, well. One of these days, the disrespect that I get will circle around to bite both of you. I'm not your enemy, but I can't just let you leave. Yeah, we figured that much. down here is bigger than all of us. I need you, so we can get revenge on those monsters who tortured you, who tortured us. Let me guess, it was Congress, right? You didn't act alone. You're disciples of the original, the prototype. I'm sorry, the prototype? I think they're referring to the metal hand. Do the honors? I don't know what honor you want me to have considering I just got groped by a pink teddy bear. You're lucky I'm such a gracious and caring man that I... And that powered the rest of Playcare. I, I wonder what all the other batteries are for then if we have the whole facility running now. Again, Poppy's lucky that I'm willing to stomach this nonsense. What she was saying was interesting nonetheless. I'm willing to hear her out. The prototype knows we're coming by now. You try to escape? They'll kill you before you ever reach that front door. They don't know me, son. The reason I was trapped in that god-awful case for so long, you have no idea of the things he's done. Let me help you kill him. A lot of hatred Let here. Let me help you save everyone. We've all seen you, how capable you are. I am me, you after all. You killed mommy. You freed me. 
You are perfect for this. Some great volunteer work. Is coming. Let him come. The final obstacle the prototype has placed against us. Excuse me, Donald. You stay here. Keep yourself safe. Ollie will call you. Well, then that was, uh, that was a lot to process there, wasn't it? All in all, everything in here wants to devour us whole, and the only thing stopping it is Reed Richards' training gear. For now, we have a clear side of confrontation. Poppy and Catnap are not on the same side, and it seems like Catnap is a part of that spiny arm we saw in last chapter. He's on board, too. Of course we do. Are you kidding me, Ollie? Find a big power cord the porch. He doesn't seem to be Why kidding, Donald. Plug it in the Ollie is a tad bit too cheery for the situation that we're facing right now. I wonder what long-term illness he'll have that will be revealed later in the game. Thank goodness. I thought we had to go back into that house, but we just have to grab this tether thing. Dreams do come true, and they're shimmering tonight. Don't get that excited. We still have to euthanize a rabid cat. I'm even more excited now. Say hoo-ha. There we go, Ollie. Awesome. Look at that. Remember that generator you turned on inside of Home Sweet Home? Unfortunately. That was a backup generator for just that building. Uh-oh. How do you know all of this? We have to do it all sometime. Give Catnap some catnip before I give him a cat sip of this cat drip. Memento mori, Don. Some forestry makes me think we're in for a treat at the schoolhouse. If we have teaching to do, then Mr. Trump is ready to tell these tools the terrible times ahead. Ollie said that it only gets more dangerous the deeper we go, so expect this to get packed with action. And there might be a chance we get cooked, as the younger folks say. Are you kidding me? We have Explodium Explosion over here, a man who can't tell the time and the world's best security guard. We are burnt. Half of you is made of hamburger and you call me Mick. Well, this is certainly an interesting way to get greeted. Why is there music now? Band class ended 25 years ago. Stop playing the trumpets. Off topic, but something tells me your favorite instrument is the trumpet because it has the word Trump in it. Wrong again, Obama, but you're used to that. I played organ as a kid, but I'm not interested in music. The only tune that satisfies me is money. And even if it wasn't, it's certainly not this tune. I think it's the scene ambience, not even a record player or something in the... No, I'll take my time, Ollie. I don't think I can connect to you from that side of the dome. And you won't be alone. Figured that much. There's someone else in there, too. Well, this isn't good. Yeah, definitely not good. And Catnap just snacked on Ollie like fried chicken. So was I the only one who noticed something about not being alone? Is this a school for crazies? I feel like I'm back in home sweet home. This is Mr. Light speaking. Mr. Light? Excuse the interruption. Uh, Students? Lady, half of your class has melted into the floor and are stains of who they once were. Meanwhile, you're concerned about who's taking a tinkle without permission. Are we not going to ask how Miss Delight is, uh, you know, alive? Do they have an apocalyptic amount of resources down here to live off of? The continuity certainly is confusing, but we still have a lot of game left to play, even though we've been at it for some time. As if I'm trying not to squeeze through a metal fence to get in contact with uranium or something or like a kid at a gorilla exhibit. Uh, I see you, you peeping principal. One person that's too cool for school is Donald Trump, and you're not gonna suck me into the class of no class. If she's another person down here, why has Catnap not killed her? What sort of turf war is going on around here? With an entire ecosystem down here, I assume that Miss Delight is, or was, a teacher. Now, after this place was abandoned, it's really hard to tell just how exactly she survived. Well, on the tape, Elliot Ludwig said this place was filled with parents and teachers to make the kids feel at home. So, does that mean 
this lady was one of our co-workers? If so, why was Ollie insistent that there was danger here? I really couldn't tell you, but I honestly don't doubt his words. If home sweet home was the safest place there is, then imagine what's waiting for us. Yeah, an overdue vet appointment, courtesy of the Donald Trump himself. If you get humiliated by a street cat, it might be time to throw in the towel, Don. Excuse me, Obama, if I can dismantle the war machine known as Springtrap, I think I can tango with a rabid feline. You didn't, I did. You're darn tootin' I did, and I'll do it again, as they say in the South. Make America game again. And we're back to brain rot. Ah! Wait, I recognize you. Oh? Yes, I remember. You used to work here. Interesting. How are you alive? That's what I'm asking you. Barb? Barb? Who's Barb? Barb says you're looking for your co-workers. Hmm. Catnap wouldn't like that you're here. I don't have a choice. Leave. I want to, trust me. Well then, something tells me she's about to become a problem. There's a lot of questions I have. Namely, how she's alive and how she referenced our coworkers as if she didn't work here too. Oh, what a snipe. Yeah, I don't know, Obama, but all I'm saying is that she was talking to students when there was a literal grassroots coming from the ground. She's clearly off her rocker. We're just trying to throw some power back on. I don't see what the big deal is. The thing that I noticed was the fact that she talked about catnap not liking the fact that we're here. So she clearly is aided by catnap. Not only that, but remember what Poppy said earlier about catnap being the final thing the prototype has put in between us. Just a lot of moving cogs in this wheelhouse right now. Well, their engine can keep being revved. All I know is that no matter the opposition, we can never lose with the world's best security guard and platformer. Remember that. So what you're telling me is that we're cooked like a Thanksgiving turkey. I wouldn't say that Donald's had some competence when it comes to playing this game. As long as you don't ask him to jump any swinging platforms. Shut up. You hear that? I didn't know that Mr. Light wore Apache the Pirate costume, but you're lucky that this door was locked because I would have made you walk the plank. Seems like we have another video to watch. You know, there's been a lot more than this chapter, at least from what I noticed. I'm still grasping the reality of where we are. Things happen so fast, and instead of dying in a train crash, now we're playing a giant game of cat and mouse. Can't wait for Miss Delight to get the mommy long legs treatment. Excuse me? What? Look, he was the one that said it, not me. I simply nodded along. I swear I can't have anything to myself in this place. And now I'm stuck near a bookshelf trying to find out where this bloody tape is. I'm surprised you have this much energy, even though we've been playing for a couple of hours now. His hatred of Democrats and dead robots fuels him, Barack. You're not entirely wrong. Wait, there it is. Finally, we have the urine tape. Let's see what ancient horrors await for us on this experience. I can only assume that it has something to do with the school, considering that this is the place we found it at. Where are the kids? Graduated because this school turned into mulch. Aren't you the teacher, ma'am? Shouldn't you know? Who is that? Are the children safe? Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Huh. Can I see them? No. That chain smoker voice is insane. And that was it. That's all he'd tell me. And he had a voice like that. <laughs> oh no. Why is she laughing? That's a Uh, Excuse me. Oh, she's crazy, crazy. Uh, nice to know they employ only the safest people down here. Yep, just like I said, she's about to be a problem. Lady, stop trying to rope your class into a Texas chainsaw massacre. No wonder they ran away from you. How is their vines growing from the ceiling tiles? And the only thing you did with the weed killer was drink it. I... Assume that's who was walking around this whole time, and I knew that they were going to be crazy. But this is certainly a twist that I hope to forget soon. Makes me kind of disgusted thinking about what else could have happened down here. Why are all the hallways locked, and you need a hand to access them? Did each kid have a personal grab pack or something? Possibly teachers. I think this is the way we have to go, judging that all the other entrances are blocked off. All I'm saying is that there was a weird hidden agenda going on down here that we're slowly uncovering. That's the problem. 
the deeper we go, the worse it gets. Maybe some things are better left buried. Wait, am I supposed to go down there or over here? I think this is the... I'm not a good listener, are you? And I won't be. other humans in that way. Other humans? I wonder if your screams will sound like theirs too. Oh boy. I ain't scared of you. I look forward to finding out. The only thing that you're gonna find is the punching force of my big meaty claws. I'll be delighted to put you in the dirt like I did crippled Afton. I thought his name was William. It is. But I see what you did there with the delighted part, Donald. I'll give my credit where credit is due. I'm opening up the gate, Miss Delight. What are you going to do? Hold on, is this her? And we lost Donald again. I'll pass on that. Hey, I have some anatomy we can discuss. Donald, it has not even been 30 seconds, and you've lost every single bit of credibility you've accrued while playing this game. And while it was frail and puny, it was still there. I think I'm going to start calling it the toy chica effect. Guess it's illegal for a man to play horror games and compliment a woman on her looks, no matter how crazy she is. You're just special, is all we're saying. And there we go. What's going on? Donald, back up. Whoa! Who was that? Was that the crazy lady? There's your wife, Do Donald. I need this. Sorry, excuse us. We'll be on our way now. Something tells me that's not a human, guys. I don't care what that thing is. We got to find a way out of here. Ah! Donald, you need to start assessing your taste in women. Why do you always go after the crazy ones? It's not my fault they catch the gaze of Don Juan. They get caught in your orbit like one of Jupiter's moons. It's practically the same thing, really. The hip to thigh ratio is just insane. Like, what else am I supposed to say? Save your breath for the running. We probably have a lot of it to do, and we have to collect batteries while we're at it. Is this why all the gates in this school were closed? to concoct some sort of death trap when Thickums comes to chase us? Donald, now is not the time to be making fun of someone's curves. We have a hedge maze to get through here, and your eyes have to stay focused on the road. What do you think I'm doing? Drooling over a creepy old witch? Or whatever that thing is, did you see its jaw? Uh, that didn't even look human. Enough bickering, just stay on task. It looks like we're gonna have to do these puzzles while she's chasing us. You think? I can hear her being a swashbuckler behind me. Why do all these crazy women not know the definition of personal space? This is what you get for trying to get your meat stick wet in a crazy robot thing. It's five nights at Freddy's all over again. Shut up. I can't get out. Where's the power thing? Didn't you just pass it? She's right there. Sorry, I entered the wrong class, Mr. Light. I'll delight you with a crowbar in a second. I don't think she wants that. She's right there. Hey, hey, chill out now. We're cool. We don't have beef. I wasn't talking about looking at your thighs. It was a joke. She's not happy. And that's the women's restroom. You're just pissing her off even more. Obama, as far as I'm concerned, you're just yapping at the mouth and doing nothing constructive while I'm over here fighting for my life against this teacher of terror. Welcome to being me when we play horror games, because you never shut up about wanting to pitch a tent around metal women. Hey, Miss Delight, let's calm down, okay? Everything about being thick was a joke, unless you don't want it to be. I was joking. It was another joke. Why are you chasing me again? Donald, I swear you are the biggest threat we have in this place. Yeah, we're never seeing the surface of the earth again. We are beyond finished. Oh, no, we're not. Where is she? Okay, so what I'll do is I'll bait her to this side of the wall, and then I'll swing around here to get past her. Is that gonna work? <laughs> Ugh. Never mind, it looks like the question answered itself. Are you going to try again, Donald? I'm getting through this, otherwise my name isn't Donald Trump. Well, something I noticed was that when you looked at her, she was completely frozen. Maybe she can't move when you're looking at her, so keep that in mind moving forward. As long as it's not her crotch, we'll be fine. It's never that serious. I don't know why you have to go around smashing things, you big oaf. What does she even have in her hand? It looks like a spike weapon from the medieval times. She's trying to execute us like we're in Dark Souls. Well, I'm not having any of it, you stanky substitute. I like how anytime you need to come up with an insult, it's almost alliteration. It's kind of impressive if I do say so myself. I don't even care about that. Listen, despite what's going on down here, I'm not trying to become the next lesson that Miss Delight is going to tell the empty chairs about. All we have to do is get out of the school and we should be in the clear. In fact, why don't we just go out the way we came in? Is it blocked off or something? I doubt retreating would really get us any farther. Remember, this is the least dangerous area according to Ollie. 
and we're getting chased around by a crazy teacher. Yeah, and it doesn't help when I have Sir Talk a lot and Chief Hoo Ha yapping about in my ear. You already know the cheat code to stop her, Don. Just don't let her get too close to you without freezing her. It's easier said than done. With how many twists and turns there are in this place, you think that we're stuck at Stark Industries. Well, that's if she can stop pillaging stuff behind us like she was a pirate. We know the end, and that's all we need to escape. Good luck with the stare downs, though. I would not want to be on the opposite side of her lustful gaze. I don't care about a lustful gaze. Right now, I need to turn on the power. This was the point earlier where she ate my whole brain in two. I think you could actually fit Mommy Longlegs and Huggy Wuggy both inside that thing's mouth. For all we know, maybe this was the animatronic that caused the bite of 87. Open the door, Dagnabbit. Can't you see that there's a crazy robot thing chasing me and it wants my loins? That's certainly a way to put it, and especially at a time like this when we're getting manhunted by a dream stand. What's a dream stand? A nobody, a loser, and a dead end. And she's right there. Get off my Johnny for two seconds out of the day and we wouldn't have a problem. Is this to the final boss or something? This chase has been going on for an awfully long time. This isn't even catnap. I think Donald has to get past this gate. It seems like we have a lot of puzzles to do on the go here. It finally opened. I missed it the first time. Are you kidding me? Six different battery ports? Yeah, forget about getting to catnap. We're not even graduating from this one, are we? I don't know what to do. I genuinely don't know what to do. Battery! Oh, we're cooking tonight, and the chef is D to the T. Just keep your calm and keep your cool. We don't want to be stuck on this part for two hours. So keep your head locked into the game. No need to fear, the best platformer and battery hunter is here. And soon we'll be driving a stake deep down into that vampire's chest. That's cool and all, but where exactly did Miss Delight go? Are we on a timer or something until she breaks through here? Like how Huggy did in the first chapter? I could see that, but we won't really know until it happens. And frankly, I don't want to stick around to see what the end result is. You heard the man, Donald. Don't throw the bag on this one and keep it in your pants for now. No promises. I think you got everything. You just need to pop the batteries in and go from there. I'm almost done. I just have to get the power from the panel again, and I'm running as fast as the wind. Wait, it's open. Get me out of here and away from this creepy teacher. You better pick those legs up, Don, because she's right behind us. I hear her. I'm running as fast as I can. Run faster. Where do I go? Dead end. She's coming. Pull the lever. It won't budge. Hurry, Donald. Whoa! Get body! Let's go, Don! You aren't anything to the world's best platformer, the world's best battery collector, and especially not the world's best security guard. You're not even going to stand over her body proudly at all? As far as I'm concerned, boasting against villains only makes it worth it. If they were a good villain, she's not even worth the dirt that her school resides on. And we finally have a loading screen after all that time. I think we're moving into a new area, so we can maybe take a breather for now. Let's just hope Catnap doesn't have any curves or anything of that sort. I'm Hoppy Hopscotch. Wanna try hopping to the moon with me? Start by hopping off my Donnie. Three with me. One, two, three! This sounds dangerous. Again. One, two, three! He's trying again. Listen, this won't stop until we make it to the moon. There's no oxygen at the moon, you stupid One, rabbit. Two, Why is he so frustrated? Jump! Jump! Kicking and chicken moment. What's that thing? I think it might be another hand. It's red, and it packs a punch. Cat crap, the oversized litter trap is in for a world of pain. Realistically, I doubt that's going to do anything to him, Donald. Stop letting the internal thoughts win, Joe. He'll be Kentucky Fried Feline once I'm done with him. Don't let Peter hear that one. Why are they just littering TVs and tapes everywhere? This one wasn't even that hard to find. It adds to the story, but I don't know why they're color-coded especially. I'm not a big fan of the cover on this one. Is that a claw or something? Stupid clunky elevator. Oh, it's this guy. What was that, Richie? Nothing, nothing. Let's just get this shipment dropped and go. Richie worked here for quite some time, it seems. They have the audio playing from the Playcare trolley ride, so they're down here, aren't they? I wouldn't be either. Never liked the feel of it. I mean, don't you think these kids deserve some real sunlight instead of floodlights and painted skies? He has a good point. No, we're not even allowed to talk to these kids. Isn't that 
Talk to him, Richie. Sorry? <laughs> that doesn't sound like the Rich I know. Well, trying to stop being so pissed off all the time. Seems reasonable to be upset about. I'm a lovely man, but I gotta control my temper. So, I'm doing it for her. Take notes, Don. Pipe down. You're just different, Rich. Honest to a fault. But uh, I always liked that about you. Yeah? You're one of the few. He really does resemble you, Donald. You know, Richie, with my retirement coming up, uh, they've been pushing hard for me to choose my replacement. Richard, don't fumble this. I'm thinking about giving the role to you. <clears throat> really? Really. Nothing official yet. But I think there's a decent guy beneath all that ground. Forget what I said. Hard working man. Yeah, never mind. You prove me right. I said your chances are pretty good. Who is this guy anyways? Oh, I, uh, geez, I don't know what to say. I... Probably the supervisor or something. Glad to see not everyone in this place has it out for me. Not everybody, Rich. Not everybody. This is a wild theory, but is it possible that we're Richie? I mean, his name has been mentioned the most often in these tapes. Laith Pierre and Elliot Ludwig have been mentioned too, but since they've all been a part of corporate, I doubt we would be one of them. Also, Elliot is dead, so it can't be him. Whoever we are, we're lucky that all these contraptions still work after 10 years. One loose circuit and we could be falling to our death. Maybe we know what we're doing because this is the technology that we've dealt with for so long. I found it odd how there was a grab pack just sitting out near the receptionist's desk. You're telling me any ordinary Joe could get a hold of that? Why do you even need something like that facilitated in a factory? Considering that they engineered a giant slinky cat that seeps laughing gas. What the? Donald, did you just fall through the earth? I didn't even do anything. I just died. Well, I was going to say that this may stay a mystery for now, but it might be forever at this point. And I've been brought back to earth by the gracious Poppy Playtime developers. Hopefully they don't put any more quicksand traps in here. Maybe it was just the Earth's crust physically unable to support your ego. I thought you were going to say wait for a second. If the shoe fits. Like, look at all this. You're telling me this was in their everyday use. These types of shenanigans are probably what sunk this place into the hole that it's in. Quite the complicated circuitry we got going on here. Like I said, I don't know why they were utilizing laser technology, but they clearly thought it was needed for whatever reason. All this circuitry, but they didn't want to provide real teachers, just some faulty animatronic women. And trust me, I've dealt with my fair share of thirsty animatronic women. I said faulty, not thirsty. Oh, it's practically the same in my books. It's really not. Springtrap could be considered faulty, and I would hope he wouldn't be thirsting after any of us. He was thirsty in a different way. He was thirsty for blood, just like how I'm thirsty to get done with these puzzles. How much longer do we have of this game? It's been going strong for at least three hours now. Obama's right. I've been looking around to neuter this cat, and he's nowhere to be found. Isn't this his chapter? I have to think that we're getting to the point of the end, or at least close to it. We better because my hunger is beating on my stomach like a bongo drum, and it's calling the name Texas Roadhouse. What steak do you get anyways? Are you telling me that I can't reach this thing? Oh, I get a rare steak. Uh, if it's from Texas Roadhouse, it probably has enough blood that it's still mooing. And that's just the way I like it. I'll eat its mother too. Come on, bring me another plate. Donald, you're the type of person to go to Olive Garden and treat unlimited breadsticks like they were actually unlimited. You're telling me it's not. If it's not true, then why do they market it unlimited? If I came here for some breadsticks, you're gonna give me some breadsticks. It's so impressive that you can talk about food while simultaneously solving a puzzle that you've never done before. Quite honestly, I think some props need to be given. You think this is my first time at this food rodeo? Please, I'm just getting started. That's a sleeper build that should just keep sleeping. This is what the taxpayer money was going to all these years, that and an underground stratosphere. An entire Rube Goldberg invention is what's gonna take us back to play care. We still have almost three other power cells to connect. I wonder if that means we still have another half of the game to go. Why is the music kicking in? Tell me, why is the music kicking in? 
we might be entering another area where we have to face. Is that catnap at a shrine? What am I looking at? Don't ask me. He's praying to whatever that is. It's a ball of death. It has those old toys on there. What a sicko this freaky feline is. I don't know if it's sensitive to sound, but try to be quiet while going down this contraption. We don't need to be treated like a scratching tree. That entire ordeal was just creepy to watch. He's gone. He's gone. We're not safe in here. Pack your bags, boys, because Ollie is about to have some bunk mates. Never heard of a vet being scared of its own patients, but times are changing. Not when we're getting crept up on. Wait, Playhouse. Isn't that the area that Ollie said was super dangerous? It can't be as bad as being ruled over by a ruly teacher. No matter what, we're probably in for it. Uh, yeah, especially with the loading screen, too. We're definitely in for it now. Well, behind me is a ritual where I saw a caterpillar double-cheeked up. So it looks like this is a one-way road. You gotta love it when a fun name like Playhouse has old security walls and red floodlights. What is that? Uh, what the? What is uh, that? I don't know, but get away from it. Don't gotta tell me twice. It's growling, it's growling at me. What is that thing? I think it's a smiling critter, but I didn't know they made small lifelike versions of them. He's back for more. How do we get rid of it? Go away, go away. Oh. oh. Well, it seems like we have our next issue then. This little minion cut my legs down like a lumberjack. Uh, why couldn't I kick him? What's gonna be our way to combat that? Well, we have a new glove that shoots fire. Maybe that's what it's supposed to be used for? In a playhouse, that might start a fire. Then let's burn this place to the ground. Hi, I'm Bobby Bearhug. Wanna know how much I love you? Sure, why not? I love you to the moon and back. Bugs Bunny just died there. I'm crazy about you. New Donald love interest just dropped. I'm lost without you. Certainly this can't be good. I've been lost a long time. Please, take me with you this time. You won't leave me. Will you? Yes. Don, there's one right there. Well, pop goes the weasel. Were these things just littered around all the playhouse? And I wouldn't call this much of a playhouse. I feel like it's a torture room in here. And you're not even the one walking around in it. How do you think I feel? It does look exhausting. Whoa, what a quick fire. Try again, you terrible toy. Wait, you don't even have to hit them? I suppose not. Donald pretty much walked out of that unscathed. I only got attacked by a pillow pet. I wonder how strong these things are. They do have muscle. Back, foul beast. I said back. So the light or fire just makes them crawl back into the dark shadows they came from. I wonder if we'll have a whole zombie herd to light a blaze. Where are you? And stay trapped under the rubble where trash belongs. Matter of fact, this place reminds me of the old bouncy houses that carnivals would put up for the children. I used to take my sons on those all the time. Or those tubes that you could go into at Chuck E. Cheese. I don't know if they had these circuit boxes in there, too. But a little birdie in my head tells me that we're going to have to abra our cadavers and make some magic happen to turn these on. Uh, where did that one go? I think it just moonwalked its way into the tenth dimension. These things are more than mildly annoying. It's like trying to pick up some food off the ground and I'm battling a flock of crows. Do I really have to sit here and pretend that a multi-billionaire sucking up food from the ground is normal? No, but did you see that flick? I don't even need to play any aim trainer to be the world's best FPS player. If we're able to fit through these tunnels, does that make us super small or these tunnels super large? I wonder what the average day in this place was. Wake up, get intoxicated from catnap, see kick and chicken hit a couple of skater flips and go to class while Miss Delight chases you with a mace. I'm pretty sure that you just described a morning press conference by Commander-in-Chief Joseph Biden. Funny way of saying Mar-a-Lago. Time to platform. I couldn't make it. Let me through this thing. I'm not trying to die. Are you noticing how every one of these things are practically sentient? What sort of experiments were these scientists doing? I wouldn't even say practically. They look like they certainly know what they're doing. Look at the gang pulling up to cause mischief. Now you're going to stay in your corner because I'm here to investigate the mess. This kind of reminds me of taking hallucinogenics with a teddy bear staring at you in the corner. What were you doing in your youth, Barack? Catnip. If he tried catnip instead of being a freak. You got another one, Don. Someone wants to turn into rotisserie. What the? Uh, oh, wow. Why is he hitting the stanky leg? I thought he was twerking for a second. Stop throwing it back, kicking chicken. There, ease yourself out of this. You don't need any rogue pelvic movements. I'm noticing that there's a lot more 
buggy features with this chapter than there were the other two. Unless we played the game when it was out for a couple years, so there was time to fix the bugs. Look at these little miscreants lurking. The only bug that I have are these gnats trying to gobble my giblets off. Your what? And just like that, master puzzle solver Donald brings us up from the trash heap once again. What's our objective in here besides avoiding marketable plushies? Are we just trying to get back to the other side of play care? Are these things still following me? I have a blaze hand and I'm not afraid to use it, you little freaks. No, I think we're good. Also, I couldn't tell you, Barack. I remember that we need to connect the power strips to the statue area, so we might have to get the lines from the school and here. Wait, I just came from here. This place is just like a giant mirror maze from a small circus. I said this before, but for being abandoned, it's oddly well kept up. I think the smiling critters were on cleaning duty. They didn't clean this up. We got a pool area here, it seems. Are these ducks alive too? Been a while since I've had some tender duck, but I could always get Laffy for Daffy. Next thing we're gonna enter is a bowling alley at this point. I don't understand why this place sucked. All you have to do is slap some TikTok in front of these kids to keep them occupied. And you got yourself a pretty relaxed orphanage. I don't know what parts of two big keys in a tattered play place is speaking the words relaxed. Not going down there. For all I know, Huggy Wuggy is probably lurking around somewhere below. Are we gonna ask what these cages are for, or is that just gonna... Whoa! Huh? What the, the... It's the dog! It's dog day! What is happening? What are you doing, Don? Listen to him. I am. Whoa. The little plushies? Wait, he's missing legs. It's like he's tortured. What happened here? The prototype is his god. Hmm. Well, this is what he does to heretics. Heretics? They were trying to bust my balls. So Ollie was wrong. I'm trying. You need to live. Okay, I understand. You and Poppy could fix this. End this madness. The torments. Oh no. Oh no. Something's happening. It's the toys. Back up, Don. They're going inside him. Is that where he gave birth to them? Those screams. Don, back up. What are they doing to him? Back up, you idiot. Something's not right. Zero survival instinct. Oh, he's chasing after us. The floor fell through. It's almost like we were telling you to back up. You absolute nincompoop. I get it, I'm dumb. Now shut up, he's chasing me. Just focus, Don. Stop yapping. Fireball's not stopping him. I see that, Obama. Dead end. It's a dead end. I passed He's right it. there. Ah! Oh! Well, Donald, have we learned our lesson of listening to other people when they're telling you to back up? I wanted to see if he needed a wheelchair. That's not Franklin Roosevelt. It's a hairy, legless animal. So Franklin Roosevelt. Okay, you got some momentum now and nowhere to go. Don't get too ahead of yourself. There's some distance, so take your time to analyze where you have to go. All right, let me cook. Wow, I thought that was a dead end already. Actually, he sounds right behind us, so just keep turning and burning. No, I was gonna take my sweet time. Too many options, I'm going this way. Dead ends, Don, be careful. Dead end. We're back on track though. Where do we go? Uh, forward, that's where. He sounds right behind us, might want to pick up the pace. There's multiple slides. The blue one, the blue one is always right. That should create some distance, keep going. The door open, I think we're good. Never mind. How is he right there? Pull out your hand, The Dom. purple hand. I'm trying, come on. I did it. Let's go, Don. That's what I'm talking about, baby. This place keeps lobbing them up, and I keep knocking them out of the park. Wait, don't tell me there's more. Donald, you might want to put on the running shoes again. Uh, I guess I'll go down this slide. And we have a loading screen, so I think we're in the clear. Well, talk about some high stress. So much just happened in the past half hour that I think I'm getting lightheaded. My hands feel like it's been through the lower half of dog day. I think you very much earned a break, Don. 
Let's see if I can muster through the rest of this game. Catnap is about to use your kryptonite on you. We are cooked. Hey, are you all right? No. Excuse me? I'm really glad you're okay. Thanks, Ollie. Do you want to lose any more friends to this place? Assuming a lot here. Hey, did you see the shrine? We did, Ollie. Catnap made it for the prototype. Why are you so happy about it? Before Catnap turned into Catnap, I guess there was some pretty serious accident. Oh? He almost died, but they say that the prototype saved his life. Boo. Giving his own freedom? I can tell with all Cat the death. Treats him like a god, killing everyone that opposes him. And he still can't touch the world's best security guard. Lay off the anchovies for a second. Why are you Catnap's hype man? That's good. That wasn't in the school. But it should have enough juice. More errands. Get that generator going and plug it in. I think we'll be done. Here's to hope. Keep your eyes open for catnap. Every shadow and every flickering light is a hiding spot. Good, he should be hiding from me. I think it's the other way around. He'll die trying. I'll parade his corpse in the street like a marching band. Awfully confident against a, a giant creature that we haven't even had contact with since the start of the chapter. You're also not controlling the game as of now, I am. And as far as I'm concerned, I don't plan on losing. In a competition for the least muscle mass, you and Catnap would tie for first place. And uh, the bickering takes us once again to a new destination that we're probably not prepared for. Loading screen and all. I hate this game. There's so much that's happened recently that my mind has just gone numb from information overload. Are we also not going to talk about that entire escapade with the dog? What actually happened back there? Someone's definitely watching us for the record. I get enough stalkers anyways. Going back to what you were saying, Donald, I think what happened was those things crawled inside him and acted like a symbiote. The little mind virus that ate his organs up like some fried rice. Good thing the only thing they were going to snack on around here was a couple of Democrats and pure testosterone. I don't know about that. Oh, this certainly isn't decrepit or worrisome at all. Yeah, when do you ever have to be concerned about the word help being written with blood on a wall? You never know. It could be feces, too. We are at an orphanage, after all. Back to everything that's went on, one thing that's constantly being mentioned is the prototype and how he's basically the reason behind all of this. Some big oogly boogly thing that caused whatever horrible things that went on down here? Freddy Fazbear moment. I think you meant William Afton, but who knows anymore? I wonder what our level of ordinance was, because we seem to know some of the factory. But we don't exactly know anything about what made everybody disappear. That's red smoke ahead. Uh, Open your ears, Joe. Do you hear that? Yeah, but I don't know what it is. Run, I think Joe, it's right run! Here. Well, the bad news is that I didn't run, but the, the good news is that we're still alive. And as hopeless and as clueless as ever, I feel like we're baby kittens that just got thrown off a bridge. I feel like a baby kitten now, but we're slowly starting to piece together how to navigate this place. The music kicking back in isn't really the best sign, though. Most of the time, we're met with hostile forces once we hear the music. Joe, you better tighten up the leader hosen because we're going in with no safety on. But I have the gas mask. Oh, joy. We have more backrooms footage and jigsaw puzzles to sift through. And this one looks like a doozy. They not only increase the amount of puzzles that there are, but the difficulty as well. From what I've seen, you really have to think through these. The only one that I got to, I immediately died, and Don took over. And even after years of picking at the dirt, he finally mined diamonds out of it. Does the name World's Best Security Guard mean nothing to you? It's amazing to me that we've almost been doing this for a full year and you still drag on about being the world's best security guard. Who else do you know that can take down humongous scraps of sentient metal while also making America game again? I'm sure if you have any other presidents on this platform, they would be competent enough to handle this situation. 
That's how I know that's a lie. Ninety percent of the other presidents are either dead or have been alive since electricity was discovered. Yeah, Donald, take exactly everything I say at face value. I'm referring to when they were still cognitive and able to form coherent thought. Obviously, a skeleton won't be able to do anything because it's just a clump of marrow. And even if it was in their prime, they wouldn't be able to do anything. You're telling me that Martin Van Buren could take a look at this and wouldn't immediately burn it at the stake for witchcraft? We're made to adapt as people, Don. You can't tell me that in a calm, instructed environment that he or any other individual wouldn't be able to complete the task at hand. I don't even know what's happening, but I'm just here for the ride. What are you even talking about anymore? All I'm saying is that I'm a very capable person, as proof of this country back in its prime. We're not talking about ribs, we're talking about presidencies. Honestly, it does amaze me that you were able to keep this nation from falling apart for four years. And that's because I was the glue that this country needed after your eight years. Guys, I'm literally just trying to solve a puzzle here. Kindly shut up! Okay, okay. All right. We were just having a conversation, Joe. Yeah. Sorry to upset a you. A nice civil conversation with my good friend Obama. Not exactly, but close enough. I expected silence, gentlemen, but not that much. If a pin dropped on the floor, you could hear the vibrations approach your feet. Can't talk about my feats and achievements, and if I can't talk about that, then what's the point of talking? Quit being a drama queen. King. Semantics. Weren't we supposed to be in the counselor's office? Why do we keep dipping in and out of backroom's floors? It's interesting how many moving parts this entire place had. It's almost like every little wall was held up by five other separate mechanical nodes behind it. Head of play care, Stella Graber. Well, that's a new name that we've never seen before. Actually, it appeared a couple times in the chapters before, just hard to spot out. Maybe if you showed us instead of watching us flail around like fish. And it looks like we got another tape in front of us again. We've been getting the dump on this place during this chapter, and let me just say, it does not make any of this flattering. What to begin with made this flattering? The death that surrounded us constantly? The creepy, stretchy things that would chase us? Less flattering, I should say. Not that hard to beat, Barack. Well, there's the tape right there. It was under your nose the whole time, Joe. Your cataracts must be swooping in again. Make sure to check up on that once we get out of this place. Not everything is as literal as you make it, Don. Sometimes I just miss things under my nose. Looks like we have some new characters being introduced. How was your ride down? It was uh, nothing like we were expecting. Uh, Mr. Ludwig's speech was... Creepy. Well, it just confirms for us that you're the orphanage we want to go through. It's a truly magical place. Mm. I felt right at home from the second I entered. You open that door the first time and you just know you're never going to leave. You're creepy too. It's like finding a home as a child and always thinking of it when you want to feel comforted. I think this is Stella talking here. Give Jeremy that home? Yeah. And we would like to adopt. Ah, amazing. You'll be perfect for... Oh. Oh? What? Well, it appears there's been some complications. That doesn't sound good. Complications? What kind of complications? Seems cryptic. I... I don't know. Um... Uh, testing? Testing. What do you mean, testing? What does that mean? Tell us, what does that mean? Miss Graper, we deserve a better explanation than that. Hmm. Don't you think? You're in charge of all this! How could you not know? And why are we only finding out about this now? I... I don't. I'm sorry. Why is it so quiet? Why is the silence so deafening right now? There was some sort of testing that, that was going on in the facility. I guess that's all we really need to know. Let me think about this for a second. So between the scientists from the first chapter, the scientists from this chapter talks about having tests being done, and Poppy talking about terrible things being done here, doesn't take a mathematician to add all this up. Do you really think they were doing some sort of tests on these orphans? They're not testing for polio, that's for sure. Whatever the case may be, it's not looking good for us. I can see why this entire place reeks of death and why close to everything here wants nothing but the worst for us. Taking a page out of democracy, I see. So our goal here is to find the power node in this place, right? I think that's been the goal the whole time. 
I'm hoping that there isn't any more smiling critters that come crawling after us. That would not be ample for us at all. Also because I'm the only one that dealt with those things. And let me just tell you, they find a way to crawl up your pant leg even when you have them by the foot. Wait, what else is interesting about this whole testing thing is that Elliot Ludwig apparently had bodies found in his estate. This really adds to what could have happened down here. Is it just me, or do you guys also hear the creepy music playing? It's like if a Scottish hotel was a sound. Awful lot of off-putting records being played around here. Do I have to switch hands or something? Huh, I guess so, and it almost killed us too. If the red smoke is an indicator of catnap being around, why are we just rushing into this place? At least let me get a hold of my machete first. We really gotta treat this thing like a Komodo dragon, don't we? You know, I saw one of those things that eat an entire baby deer, coolest thing I've ever seen. What? Excuse me? Yeah, I saw it on Twitter when I was on my lunch break one day. This big dinosaur of a lizard just ripped the gazelle out of the womb and snacked on it like eggs benedict. Some things should probably just be kept to yourself, Donald. No, you needed to hear this. Think about this salamander the size of a car manhandling a creature like a deer just for it to say, bottoms up. I really do not want to think about that. Didn't you eat three metric tons of salmon today? How does your stomach even stand tall and wide after describing the circle of life like it was Animal Planet? I think I'm forgetting how this game works because I could have swore that was a power distributor. Uh, it has been a while since we played it, and there have been quite the amount of events that has happened with the channel and during your presidency. Yeah, like fueling the fire to several separate wars. Don't blame me, blame Candy Cadet. I think we're all good to go in this area. And would you look at that, we have yet another puzzle. I'll be honest, it's coming to the point where it's getting really tiring. We have spent such an astronomically long time on this game just trying to stick the rectangle block in the circle hole. Can I just dismember this prehistoric animal already? It's not as simple as that. Yeah, because if it was, Catnap would be napping so hard his sleep would be as deep as six feet. That's an interesting way to put it. I don't disagree, but it's just something I never heard of. Donald's so good at that, it's terrifying. Good at what? Saying so much yet, so little at the same time. Like you yap, but it's so filled with nothing that it's almost like you didn't talk, such as eating chips and consuming empty calories. As if I haven't sat by you for a year straight, hearing your voice slip through my headset like the dark thoughts in the back of my head. When you talk, it's as pointless as a circle. Again, I might just be losing my touch, but some of these buttons and doohickeys just aren't reacting the way I would expect them to. I noticed that for the brief period I played. Some of the movement and the mechanics reacted a bit sluggishly or didn't even react at all. And there's the liberal tears that I'm so used to. Donald, if there's any platforms up ahead, do you want to conquer your fear and take the lead? Don't get smart with me, Joe. You know you won't be able to keep up. You mean hang behind? Well, isn't this just the biggest mess that you love to see? Looks like one of those yoinky sploinky boards where you throw the oval down and try to get points. What is a yoinky sploinky board? Donald, where do you even come up with these terms? If I leak the sauce, then everyone will have the recipe. I can't have greatness being imitated here, Obama. My calculations are correct. And there we go. Looks like this old noggin still has it together. So this can power the purple boost to get us up to well, wherever we need to go. I've said this before, but don't break a hip on the trip, Joe. And magically, we have power to a product that shouldn't have existed in the first place. Not the first time scientists have created abominations to humanity. And from what I'm hearing on these audio tapes, they didn't have any signs of stopping. This doesn't look the safest to go down. Uh, are you sure this is where we're supposed to go? The red smoke almost confirms it. I just need a little fire and a little light to guide us to the promised land. It's about time I find this feline and feast on him like fried feathers. There's only so many things that you can say here that won't get taken down, Don. And I'm not so sure that those are one of those things. Boy, the music just doesn't stop, does it? Where even are we? Why does this entire place just turn into an Egyptian tomb where we avoid booby traps? This business was set up by con men, it had to be. Well, whatever it may be, here's a battery that we need. Oh, what the? He just attacked us. Come back here and face us like men, you feral phony. We're dead. There's no way that we're not dead. Was that supposed to happen? Well, if it's not, I think I just got a heart attack, so one of you guys might have to take over. Wait, what is this? 
Can the car come and hit us already like we're in a Warner Brothers cartoon? I'm sick and tired of whatever's going on around here. Wait, what did Poppy just say? And we're going through the red smoke now? Oh, this cat has us hallucinating now. If this just don't beat all. Do you have any idea what you're doing? This is the start of the game. I think this could be flashbacks when we worked here, but it looks so damaged already. Poppy, the only thing I know that I'm doing is topping off the salmon I had earlier, and apparently this cat got go jealous again. of my good eats. What's going on anymore? Catnap attacked us, and now we're having nightmares? Do you know what's happened here? We're in home, sweet home. This place, the shadows of these children, I don't know what happened, but it had to be something sinister with them. We were an ex-employee. Why wouldn't we stop it if There's this catnap. was going on? Little Timmy is just sitting there without a care in the world. No wonder these things want to rip us to shreds if there was testing done to them. We're in the classroom now. Look at who we are, Obama. Are these the memories of our past? What evil went on underground? And here comes the wormhole again. Catnap is going to pay for this. A part of me is wondering if this really is Catnap's is fault. Why we have to end this? Like, look at this. These were innocent children. What did these scientists allow to happen to them? A lot of evil, that's what. But I'm telling you this, I'm here to end it, and no cat or spider or cookie monster is gonna stop me. You're not listening to what Poppy is saying. I don't think we even know who we are. I accepted that. Do you even know what's real? And it seems we don't even know what's going on anymore. Is this even a hallucination we're experiencing? What else is it, Obama? It has to be a hallucination. It's just the places we've all been before. What else happened down here, Poppy? Because if it has a problem with me, I'll fix its attitude. That's a face. It's Huggy Wuggy. Why is he here? We killed him. Stop popping up in our dreams. Get ready for the jump scare. I'm ready for it. No, you don't. And it didn't even happen. But what is even happening? There's screams. They're terrifying. What's this red light? Where are we? Why is everybody screaming? What happened here? It's all red. Everywhere I look, it's all red. These screams are sending shivers down my spine. What is that in the mist? It's the hand from That's last That's the prototype. Chapter. He's reaching for us. So he caused all of this. Him and Catnap are gonna pay? If we're still alive, but we have to get out of this red smoke, Joe. The phone. The phone is ringing. Is it Ollie? Good thing I'm easy to find, Furball. You think? Got it. Off topic, but the State of the Union is coming up, and I'm very excited to be delivering my speech. I think you and the Republican Party will love it, Don. Great. Last thing I need in this world is Joe Biden standing at the podium talking about fruit-flavored snacks or something. I think I already know the topics that you're going to discuss, but I'm still looking forward to what you have to say. Remember, take your time saying what you want to say so you don't have to stutter. The fact that you got to tell a way beyond grown man is outright absurd. Yeah, not like you haven't forgotten anything in your life, Donald. He's the sitting president. Are you kidding me, Obama? And as the sitting president, you can hear what I have to say at the State of the Union. Catnap have any Sleepy Joe gas left? We? Well, if my intuition knows best, it's the fact that we seemingly are right next to getting out of this place. So you know that's when everything is going to come crashing down. I just don't understand how Catnap wanted us to leave Playcare like he wasn't the one that threw us into a garbage compactor to begin with. You did this to yourself, buddy. Time to get fixed. Realistically, what do we have to fight Catnap with? He's as big as a woolly mammoth. I don't think calling him a frisky furball is going to strike fear in his heart. Not exactly, but it'll butter him up for what's to come, and that's a five-course meal featuring a knuckle sandwich. Express delivered by the world's best security guard himself, huh? You betcha. Is it me, or do I have no idea where to go? Um, I think both of the options you gave us means it's you, Joe. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Seems like we got a preview of the State of the Union. Oh, yeah, this was the place we were supposed to be from the beginning of the game when we were introduced to those puzzles. We're not asking the most important question. Why haven't we seen Ollie yet? 
Shouldn't we already know what this sneaky snitch looks like? Seen or not, he's the only thing that's helped us in here. He's one of our only allies, really. I've actually enjoyed Ollie's company. So I think we turn this on and, wait, actually I have to put the battery over here. And this will power the machine. What the? He's here! Look what the cat dragged in. He's got the red smoke. What is he doing? Do I need to put the mask on? I don't care. Let me at him and I'll solve this thing really quickly. Where am I supposed to go? Do we need to get around him? What happened to his mouth? What Why the? does he look like that? Get me out of here. Cats don't do this. His mouth looks like a hanger. Where am I supposed to go? He's right there, Close Joe. Mouth, Run like the wind. I'm going back here and trying to get the battery. Hurry up, he's right behind us. Let me at him and it would be curtains for him. The door is closed. Where run, do we go? Joe, run. He's right there, you idiot. I'm trying, you morons. Ah! You're ugly. Well, that didn't go as planned. Something tells me that we weren't supposed to go around him. Yeah, I kind of figured that once he bit off my frontal lobe. Well, no need to fear because the world's best security guard is here. Saddle up those horses because we ride at dawn. Just give him the keyboard, Joe. I'm grabbing the battery too, you big ugly thing. Now you gotta deal with me. Oh, that's where we're supposed to go. Not even taking a chance. Hitting the button and we're getting out of here. I'll end you later, freakazoid. Why is his mouth open? Why does he look like that? He can't get in here, right? Right? He's trying. I think we're safe. Catnap, you have got to be the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Plastic surgery cannot even save you. I know we can't see each other anymore, but I know you can hear me. You're ugly. Certainly insulting him will help defuse the situation. Donald, if they did testing on children, that could very well be a child that's actually controlling catnap. I stand by what I said. And he better calm down before I tell his parents or something. Wait a minute. Catnap is coming. Be careful. Well, there's way too many batteries and sockets here, so something tells me that I have to play collector and do something with all of these. Doesn't look like there's anywhere to go but here. This may be the final battle, Donald. Classic. The good old standoff that I was preparing for. What's this say now? To the left and right side of the room, in both the front and back, there should be small alcoves with terminals ready for a charge. See for yourself. Whatever that means. I think it means we use one of those power nodes to our advantage. How we do that, I don't know, but that's my assumption from the text. Was this what it was talking about? I guess that's what we'll use for power, and you probably have to put the batteries in there to access that. My thing is, what is the whole purpose of it? The computer said that catnap was coming, so it's likely we'll be using that in some way to defend ourselves. Correct me if I'm wrong, but have we done something like this for an antagonist? Most of the time, we're just running away from them. Here, it looks like a FNAF game. Well, no need to fear, because the world's best security guard is here. Somehow, we're gonna run out of power. Uh, heads up, I think Catnap's already at our door. How do I use the batteries to stop him? I'm not falling for that bait. It's time to bring in the firepower. Do you genuinely think that's gonna do anything against a prehistoric animal, Don? You see me rolling and you're already hating. Yeah, I see you. You're not scaring anybody with that rotisserie chicken body of yours. Wait, I actually think the fire hand is working. Keep doing it, Don. I think that's how we keep him at bay. You look like you just crawled out of a Pizza Hut garbage can. Do something about it. There's no way that it's a year later and Don is still insulting our foes. How little time changes things. It's not an insult. Look at that thing. It reminds me of a certain someone, but I don't care to insult them right now. Instead of focusing on insults, focus on what we're supposed to be doing, because I can't guide you here. As long as Catnap is at bay, that's all that matters but stop yapping. I need this power source, right? I'm powering the node. Are you sure we're supposed to do that? Well, I guess it's too late now. What's happening? What is this? Grab it or something. The hand marks Don't are there. Up. Hey, Freakazoid, you have the wrong address. We didn't order anything. Go to the next house or something. And now he's back down here or something. So what do we have to do? Just keep getting into that cycle until something changes? It closed again. This cat is as sneaky as a fox, but he's not getting past the world's best security guard. Heads up, Donald. You should probably get used to opening that door. But your main focus should be on catnap right now. I know, but this node triggers some sort of gas. See? And I think that stops him from going over there. Replace the battery, Don. There's a timer on that machine. I think we're halfway done, Don. Keep pushing through. I just prepped another battery. Yeah, nowhere to go, you slithery snake. Can't break a fast one on me. Do you know who you're messing with? He's, he's messing with someone that can't get a battery out. 
Candidate Obama, this is a high stress situation, and unless you're helping, you're hindering. You got a little over a minute now, Donald. It looks like he's flanking or trying to. Good thing I have him on lockdown. And he got in the hallway. I know the perfect defense for you. Get smoked out, cat crap. Get ready for the vent, or no. I thought he would be trying to open the top vent already. No, he's in the hallway again, even though I already smoked it out. Can't learn your lesson, huh? No wonder you were in an orphanage. Your IQ wouldn't even let you get out when you became an adult. I was about to say, don't be too insulting where you forget the battery. 40 seconds, Don. Keep chugging. We're almost at the end of the marathon. Never was good at running. Admitting it now is crazy timing. Looks like it's happening again. Come through. You're just helping me waste time, you stupid feline. Smart thinking, Donald. Yeah, you only have 10 more seconds to go. Just keep pushing. I don't know what to do after the 10 seconds, though. What could we possibly do? Well, we're about to find out. Donald, grab that. Got it. Time to put you down. Whoa. What a shot, Donald. Yeah, get up after that one. He's trying to. But he won't. That's right. Taste the wrath of the world's best security guard. This is what happens to those who mess with me. That's going to leave a bruise. Look at the top. It's the hand. It's the prototype. What's happening? What does he want from him? I have a hunch since he failed, it's his time to be sacrificed. Is that why he's getting up? Look, he's offering himself. He's vanquished? Oh. Just like that? Wow, just like that. I really carried this stupid battery all the way here because I thought we needed it. What a waste of anxiety. And with this, we can finally power up the entirety of Playcare and get out of here, right? Right? Don't count our chickens, Obama. I'm still waiting for Dog Day to come out from the ground and eat us alive. I was about to say, you have to turn the battery receptor on, it seems. Are we good now? And Don Juan comes to save the day once again. You can clap for me now. I deserve it after taking down that tyrannical tiger. I wouldn't say taken down, just under new management. Toys of the Playcare Kingdom, you are free to come out, for I have slain thy enemy, Overlord Catnap. Didn't have medieval Donald on my 2024 bingo card, but I guess there's always a surprise for something. Gentlemen, form the start of this game. I immediately hated that feline with every fiber of my being. And now that I'm aware of the evil atrocities that were done down here, I can only speak of the pride in my actions. He's dead now. Be proud, Don. Be proud. And proud I am. And heareth I turn on thy kingdom. May it be restored to its glory days for all the toys to enjoy. Okay, the magic's starting to wear off. Good, you're here. No thanks to you. You've done it again. Wherever you are. Just like I knew you would. Where were you the whole time? What are you doing, Don? Trying to find this stupid doll. Is she over here? I'd love to have it if Donald can stop treasure hunting. There you are. Because of your co-workers. That I did, Poppy. I know what happened. And why. Is she holding a tape? This. This is your answer. Oh no, we got snuff films going on down here. Power of joy. Who's we? Maybe the other toys or something? Donald, get closer to the TV. That tape's gonna play through there. The hour of joy. Look at this. It's footage of the main entrance. Huggy, no one is going to high-five you. That's probably not what he was there. Oh, what? He's attacking them? Oh my gosh, he's attacking them. This is the hour of joy. This is what happened to all of our coworkers. Are you kidding me? Why did they stand there for so long? This is the game station, and that's Mommy Long Legs. She's attacking them too. Are the toys rebelling against their creators? It has to be. She just swooped them up into the air and dropped them. Are all these toys attacking them? Yeah. Even the smiling critters are attacking them. After years of scientific torture, they're all going against what the scientists have done to them. Is this the schoolhouse? I think it is. And he's being chased by multiple mistalites. Multiple? They shadow cloned? Did the cloned? prototype cause all of this? Is this Huggy again? No, this looks like Kissy. She looks like she's being a lot less violent. Look at the experiments they were doing on these things. Who is this thing? He's eating him? Oh, that's Boxy Boo. He was a toy in another game they made. This is play care. Look at all the bodies. Look at Catnap. This is why I took you out, you litter box. This is what happened to all of our co-workers. All of our co-workers. That's a lot of bodies. The hour of joy was just a giant death montage. They're all dead. They really are it's all dead. It's all death. 
It's literally just all death. How did this happen? How did nobody escape? Well, gang, the mystery is solved. All that death and we came back here like we were just Mr. Incredible. We finally found out what happened. After all these years, we figured out the story behind this. I'm honestly shocked. I really Battery. didn't expect it to be this bad. Where do I put this battery at, Poppy? Donald, can you stop moving? I'm trying to listen to her talk about this massive death we just saw. Listen, I know it's death, but they experimented on kids, so they kind of deserved it. Why is this happening? What are those things? She definitely seems scarred from it all, even as a doll. I'm sorry, who was innocent here? Death didn't fix anything. And then, once it was all over, they dragged those corpses down below where they'd never be found. And they... Excuse me? Whoa. A co-worker buffet. To stay alive. The prototype passed it down. Oh, hey, Kissy Missy. Yes. So it was the prototype. Everything. Why is Femboy Huggy Wuggy smiling? Ain't nothing to really smile about. We just saw a massacre. You know she has a name, right? Yeah, and it's Femboy Huggy Wuggy. My question is that, what does Poppy have to do with all of this? Was she experimented on too? Because we reach the bottom, we'll send the lift back up. she was one of the first toys, right? That's my guess. Hold on, where are we going? After you. Is nobody questioning why we're going even deeper into this place? Poppy said the prototype would dismember us regardless, so we have to find a way to get around him anyways. Well, deeper into this mess we go. Why are you tilted like that, Femboy Huggy Wuggy? Once we hit the ground, we need to be cautious. There's something... Uh, that doesn't sound good. Not good at all. No, no. What's happening? I think she's being attacked. Just hold on. No need to fear, the world's best security guard is here. Now is not the time, Don. Wait, is that how the chapter ends? Femboy Huggy Wuggy got jumped. Is that really how the chapter ends? Wow. What a cliffhanger to lead into the next chapter. By far the best chapter yet. I'm so glad I went into this blind again. Haven't done that in so long. I'm free! Well, what a chapter, am I right, guys? What are your initial thoughts? Even though I barely played and it was super drawn out, I definitely think this was the best chapter so far. Donald, what about you? Rah! I'm still the world's best security guard. It's Donald Trump here wanting to thank all of our members for supporting us. We can't thank you enough. If you would like to become a member and see exclusive content, click the link in the description.